So you just started your survival world and your house looks like this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from building houses like a noob to building houses a little less like a noob. So to get started, tear down that ugly house that you just built. <laughs> okay, now find your favorite wood. Um, I like to use spruce, but you can use any wood that you want. And um, we're gonna start off with some logs and planks, and eventually we'll add some some details with um, trap doors, stairs, and and um, fences and stuff. But we're gonna start off with the basics for now. So, the first rule of building less like a noob is to make the corners of your house out of logs. And the next rule is make your house a part of the terrain. So if it's on uneven surface, that's perfect. Okay, now what I like to do is use um, spruce slabs or whatever wood you're using. And I like to do the floor out of slabs so that it gives the house a slightly raised look to it. Okay, and next get started on the walls with some planks. I usually build in survival, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm doing this in creative. So there's the base of the house so far. Now I like to make room for windows. Since the front is kinda, the, the, the window would only be one block wide, I'm not gonna have any windows in the front. I might have one on one side. But on the sides, I like to just put some planks up against the logs and then leave the rest of the space for windows, especially when you have some beautiful natural landscapes like this. Just gives you lots of space to, to view the landscape. But if you'd rather, you could have smaller windows like that. It's up to you. Okay, and then the next step, we're gonna take this up one more block on every corner with the logs. And we're gonna bring the planks across like this. Now since the doors are only two blocks high, we're gonna make it like that. I could probably add a window here. Yeah. So we have the basic shape of the house. It's already starting to look a lot better. Okay, so next we're gonna do the windows. So there are different ways you could go about this. Sometimes I like to use trap doors for windows. So sometimes I do my windows like that, and I use oak trapdoors because you can see through it. And it gives the house a nice texture sometimes. But lately I've been using some glass panes instead. And if you're gonna use glass panes, always go for a stained glass pane because it just gives it much more um, interest rather than your usual clear windows. And you can still see through well enough to see the landscape. So I'm using gray stained glass panes right now to give it like a nice dark look to it, but still complements the natural landscape.
So as you can probably tell, the front looks a little funny. So we're gonna add some texture to that. All right, so this part just takes some playing around. Sometimes I use spruce slabs, sometimes I use trap doors, uh, but usually I just, I just play around with it and see what looks good. I usually like to do like an overhang like this and we'll add like a little, we'll add a little staircase here that comes down. So sometimes for this overhang I use slabs, sometimes I use trap doors. It just depends on what look you're going for. I think for now I'll stick with the, the trap doors. This way gives it a little more depth in the front of the house. And that's already starting to look a lot better. So now we'll get started on the roof so there are lots of different ways that you can do the roof I like to use slabs I think th what I'm gonna do this time is make the logs come across like this and I always put it so that you can't see the top of the log because if I if I did it like this you would see that on this side and it doesn't it doesn't look very good Okay, and now, now I'm gonna start with the slabs. So what I like to do is I start off by doing slabs on one end, like that. And then I always like to make it overhang. Just like that. And then I go up with a gradual increase to make it look better I always do like a full plank so that there's not just like this ugly space right here just for those those ones and since this one is two blocks wide I'm gonna make this one two blocks wide as well Now we go up again with one more half block increase. So that's four blocks wide now. So this next one is only gonna be like this, and then this is the one on the edge. So there's the rough shape. It doesn't look too great yet. But what I like to do is I come along and do an overhang on the front like this and just the top ones. Just like that. So like that. So it overhangs by one block on all, all sides. Okay, now this looks a little bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make these front windows one block taller. That looks better. And we can try the slabs here instead of the trap door. I think that looks, that looks good. But now if you notice, it looks kind of flat. There's not as much um, depth to it. So, I think I'm going to start off by adding a little porch. I'm going to use some spruce fences to make the porch look a bit nicer. Okay, so what I did is I fixed this front walkway so it comes down to here so for lighting if you want your place to look nice stop using torches um, lanterns look great and they're not even that 
hard to make in survival. Another light that looks really good is shroom lights. Um, it's a little harder to fit it in in certain areas, but it can look really good. And then um, another thing you can do is use some leaf blocks that you get with shears or silk touch and um, make bushes in front of your house. Another tip to make things look nicer, stop using furnaces and use smokers and blast furnaces. So one thing I like to do sometimes is I'll put the bushes in front of the house like this and that can look good sometimes or you can put them just um, around your house like so to make some cool little bushes I think for now I'm gonna leave the porch empty and just place these bushes around the house So kind of like that. And then another thing you can do is place your lanterns on your path or along your path. And then inside the house, I usually like to have a double bed and have it centered. It looks nice and it's good for if you're having guests over. We'll have the uh, the blast furnace and the smoker over here with a crafting table in the middle. And then I usually like to um, try to decorate the crafting table a little bit. And then over here, we will have our storage. Okay, and there we have it, our finished house. We'll do a fly around. So this is how it looks when you're walking up to the house. It's kind of got a cozy feel to it and it shows off the natural landscape. It's very bright in here, very well lit. You've got your storage, your inner chest, you've got your blast furnace, smoker, crafting table, everything you need. And you've got a bed. So yeah, not bad. Makes you look a bit less like a noob. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then consider subscribing. Um, I'm gonna start posting daily. I have um, 60 videos planned <laughs> right now. Um, so I'm gonna be working on making those and, and posting one every day. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.